हेलो स्टूडेंट्स दिस इज नेहा माथुर एंड टुडे इन दिस वीडियो आई विल टेल यू अबाउट नेक्स्ट मोड ऑफ ऑपरेशन ऑफ रजिस्टर दैट इज पैरेलल इनपुट पैरेलल आउटपुट सो आर टुडेज टॉपिक इज पैरल पीपो पैरेलल इनपुट पैरेलल आउटपुट बट बिफोर स्टार्टिंग द टॉपिक कंसिडर टू सब्सक्राइब माई चैनल एंड क्लिक ऑल बेलाइकन टू गेट अपडेटेड फॉर द अपकमिंग वीडियोज फाइन सो नाउ कम विथ द नेक्स्ट मोड ऑफ ऑपरेशन ऑफ रजिस्टर इज पीपो parallel input parallel output as the name suggest that in this mode of operation data is entered in parallel form parallel input so the data is entered in the register will be in the parallel form similarly the output we are retrieving or we are taken out again will be in parallel form or you can say parallel fashion so the data we are entering as well as we are retrieving both is in the form of parallel fashion this is the parallel input parallel output now come with the designing of the circuit here again i am taking the designing of parallel input parallel output mode of operation for for four bit of data so now again the data which we want to illustrate in the form of entering as well as retrieving is its own four bit form fine so this mode of operation in which we are entering four bit of data will be a combination of four flip flops so i am taking four flip flops see this is a d flip flop with one input and one output one input one output one input one output again one input and one output but this is the flip flop 0 flip flop 1 flip flop 2 and flip flop 3 this is just the naming with each an individual flip flop now this is the flip flop 0 then its input will be d0 and output is q0 similarly for flip flop 1 input will be d1 and output is q1 for flip flop 2 input is d2 and output is d2 input is d2 and output is q2 and for flip flop 3 input is d3 and output is q3 this is the this is just the combination of flip flop which are actually not connected now come with their interconnection see this is a parallel input parallel output kind of flip flop that means the data you want to enter is in parallel form and then there is no need to connect these flip flop one by one that means the output of any flip flop is not working here as an input for the next flip flop because this is the concept output to input output to input is the concept for serial form of transferring of data but here no need to go with serial form both is in the form of parallel so this is your main input one input your second input your third input and this is your fourth input d3 d0 d1 d2 and d3 these are three inputs four inputs and your four bit of data b0 b1 b2 and b3 your four bit of data which is like b0 d0 the input of flip flop but out of your four bit of data you are applying b0 over here b1 here this is for b2 and this is for b3 so now you are going to apply your four bit of binary data which is in parallel form over here so this is a parallel input data fine suppose you want to enter 1011 that means 1011 you are going to apply over here for each an individual flip flop now the next thing is the clock which should be common for all the flip flops so i am making a common sign four flip four clocks single clock to operate four flip flops clock 
in the form of pulses now the next thing is what about its output see the output is again in the form of parallel form because this is parallel input and parallel output so that means again the output for all the flip flops will have to recover or will have to retrieve simultaneously that means the output of your first flip flop q not i am taking individually similarly for the second flip flop its output here for the third flip flop and for for the fourth flip flop so this is the this is going to be this is going to be four bit parallel data output and this is your four bit parallel data which you are going to enter via b0 b1 b2 and b3 so this is the general designing of parallel input parallel output mode of operation of register in which in which you want to enter four bit of your data as well as want to retrieve for four bit of data both entering and data entering and retrieving data is in the form of parallel fashion this is the diagram now come with its working how its work see whatever the data you want to enter is applied over b0 b1 b2 and b3 for d0 d1 d2 and d3 inputs of respective flip flops that means b0 for d0 which is a input of flip flop 0 same wise b1 for d1 which is input for flip flop 1 and same for others this is just the application of your inputs so once you are done with the application of your specific input now the second step is the application of clock signal and again here the clock is working or the circuit is working for the negative edge of the clock that means for the falling edge of the clock so once your data is loaded second you are going with the application of respective clock signal respective clock once you will go with low clock that means your clock is going to zero all the flip flops will be active and the respective input is already uploaded now you can retrieve your data q0 q1 q2 q3 at q0 q1 q2 q3 output terminals so just by following two steps you can entering enter as well as retrieve your data your first step is uploading of input via b0 b1 b2 and b3 simplest method of entering the data then once you are done with the loading the second step is application of clock and here the circuit will active for the negative edge of the clock so once your clock will be zero all the flip flops will be active and input is already set for the flip flops and then you can retrieve your outputs q0 q1 q2 q3 simultaneously that means in parallel form this is the actual concept of parallel input parallel output and the important and most interesting and important thing about this mode of operation is that out of four ciso cipo pipo and piso pipo is one of the most fastest mode of operation for register just because only one clock one time application of clock is needed just to execute the complete operation so once you are done with the loading of the input you will have to apply only a single application of the clock with the one application of the clock you can retrieve your output simultaneously via q0 q1 q2 and q3 so this is the fastest mode of operation because you are going to apply only one bit of one uh, cycle of your clock this is all about pipo fine this is the easiest and important mode of operation of registers so follow this if you are following the content consider to subscribe my channel and click all bell icon to get updated for the upcoming videos and one more thing i will suggest you to go through with all the videos related to flip flops and registers so that you can become more familiar your concepts will be more clear with with the applications of flip flop and with the basics with the basic concepts of flip flop
fine thank you